Hey, I am Three Plus Key, your favorite social worker. Welcome back. I am here simply to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health, and persistent education. Um, today, I just wanted to talk about how to ask for help in the social work field, uh, which is very vast. You come alongside people who are going through whatever situation that is hindering them from being successful in the way that they want to be successful. So this could be um, an issue of employment, of substance abuse, of housing, of parenting, um, adoption, mental health, um, even sometimes just you want to improve your social skills, your communication. Um, it's a very vast field, but today I wanted to talk about how to ask for help specifically from your community. Uh, I live in Missoula, Montana, and here we have, I heard this today, the most 501c3s per capita in the nation, meaning we have more nonprofits <laughs> uh, to, to help in the cause of, of social work than anywhere else in the nation. And while I think that is a very beautiful thing, that is a very Christ forward approach to helping one another, it does um, um, demonstrate um, the, the, the proclivity toward competition and one person getting a service or funding over another person. And it begs the question, how do you elevate yourself on wait lists or gain favor so that people want to help you versus another person. And so I realize this can cause big, big feelings. But the fact of the matter is where there are social services, particularly free ones, it does create competition. So I made this video. It is uh, something, it is a manner in which I, I teach others um, in organizations, um, how they can better tutor their clients as far as asking for help from other organizations or people or churches. Um, so here we go. It is a four part narrative. So the, the problem is you need something right? It could be food. It could be a gas card. Um, it could be employment. It could be housing again, but there is something that you need that you don't have and it would be hard for you to obtain on your own. So the solution is what I created. It's nothing fancy. It's a four-part narrative and I'm going to go through it right now. Um, in short, Number one is your past situation, how you got here. Number two is your present situation, where you're at now. Um, number three is the ask, what you need. And number four is how you know I won't be back to ask for more, right? Um, so to break it down, number one, is the past where you've been this provides context so um let's say you need a job let's use that example because many people do and let's say you have many barriers um you know uh, former incarceration is a huge barrier um a, a, a felony account something to that effect so in the past, I grew up in the foster care system. Uh, even still, I managed to graduate by the time I was 
17, but then I had a baby with um, a partner that abused me. Um, I tried over and over city to city, and now here I am um, in front of you because I robbed a store to get food for the baby. That's the past. Um, it, it gives you context about how we ended up here. And it's typically like the sob story, the proverbial sob story. I tend to say at, at 18, 18 is the, the great equalizer. At 18, we all have a, a sob story. You're just telling yours, right? Um, number two is the present part one. So the present is the situation that you're in now, um, typically the issue. Um, I need a job because um, the baby needs to eat food. I need to be able to afford housing, so on and so forth. So that's the issue at hand is the baby needs to eat and we need somewhere to live. Um, and I'm willing to do something about it, but um, we go into part three, which is the ask, the request from the community or the agency. What I need is a position working nine to five or a position that I can take my child to because I can't leave them alone at the shelter or with my sister or however that might be playing out for you. Um, humility is really key in the ask. Um, and I think that's a contentious matter as well. Of course, you, you know, you want uh, $30 an hour, $40 an hour, so on and so forth. But in the ask, um, Everyone loves an underdog, a come up story. And for that to be so in this situation, you need to demonstrate humility, um, integrity, diligence, a strong work ethic. I'm willing to do anything just to get my foot in the door. Um, whether that's the case or not, you get the idea, right? You're asking somebody for something, a favor to be favored. And so what comes with that is humility. And I say it, it comes with, it's a contentious subject because many people feel that you should just be able to have a job or have the housing or have the food or what have you. And, and that may be true, but people, we're, we're sinful creatures and we judge one another and we, we want the story of this person worked for it and that, th that we deem them deserving, however unchristlike that is. That's human behavior. So, so far we have the context, the, uh, the past story. Number two, we have the current issue, um, the present, part one. Number three, we have the present part two, which is the ask or um, the request. And finally, number four is the future, the resolution, how you know I will not be back asking you for more money, more food, um, a, a bigger house, better accommodations, whatever, whatever the case may be. And so what that would look like in this scenario is um, once I have this job, I'll be able to feed my family. I set up a, a bank account and will be saving this money. Such and such said that they will match um, the income that I'm bringing in. My sister said I could stay for another month. Whatever, right? Whatever is the resolution and the person says, hey, here is the money, here is the employment, here is the housing, here is the solution to your problem. 
And I want to now step away from that and move on to the next person or move on to minding my business because I felt like I've done enough. Both are situations, scenarios that w- will occur for people that are helping other people. The latter, uh, typically from a private citizen. Um, so just to recap how to ask for help, number one, provide context, explain your past. How did I get here? Number two um, is the present part one, and that is my current situation, the issue at hand. Number three is the present part two, which is the ask, the, um, the need, the request um, to solve the issue. And finally, number four addresses the future, um, which gives ultimate resolution and how you know I won't be back. You give me the thing, I'm not going to say, well, I need another thing, right? This is whatever I'm asking you for is aiding me and my self-sufficiency. Um, this is not hard and fast. Um, there are different variations. This is just one approach that you can use this four step narrative. I would encourage people to use it particularly in a written form or something that they can practice over and over and over again. Um, I myself, three plus key, I have my own crafted narrative of a come up story. It just looks different. I would like funding for this. I would like to be hired to teach your um, organization uh, leadership from a biblical perspective. Uh, Most of us will have an ask of the community at some point. So I think it's wise just to gather a narrative and, and have it on deck no matter uh, who you you might be. And finally, um, just to add a biblical context as far as what the um, what the response should be when somebody is uh, demonstrating humility and they have the ask, they have the request. And it's something that we have. Um, a private citizen, social worker, leader of an organization. It's something that we have and we have to decide, is it for you, for somebody else? Do we skip over you? The biblical perspective comes from Galatians chapter 6, verse 2, that implores us, Paul implores us to carry one another's burdens. Um, when we answer and ask for help, we are, um, allowing ourselves to be a vessel of Christ's love. And that is very powerful. If you have a spare $5 in your pocket and somebody asks you for it, for their baby or whatever, and within your own discernment, and wisdom that the Holy Spirit, um, hopefully you prayed, you prayed for, um, to descend upon you in this manner. Um, and you part with that $5, that $5 honestly wasn't, wasn't yours anyway. The Lord allowed you to, to have it and you're just passing it forward in your fleshly form. So, um, again, this was how to ask for help. Um, with a biblical perspective, of course, I am three plus key. I'm your favorite social worker, and I'm always here to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health, and persistent education. Um, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like comment and share this video and um, we'll keep this movement going forward all things with a biblical perspective don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you later